I can't believe that we are already here, graduating high school and about to get our diplomas. When I think back on my school career, I think about how much I and all of us have changed. When I was in middle school, I was so reserved and I hardly ever spoke. I was anxious and timid, often being the only Hispanic girl in gifted classes. Looking back, middle school Lupe would have never ever thought she would be speaking at her graduation in front of so many people and using my voice as a voice for my community. No puedo creer que ya llegamos a este momento. It is definitely a bittersweet moment and a moment of possibilities. I would like to start by saying how proud and grateful I am to be part of this wonderful Cougar family. I look out into this crowd and my mind is flooded with happy memories of our shared time. Like that one time in AVID class when Zion, Maya, and Portia started freestyling out of the blue, or that one week where I swear we had a fire drill like every other day. And all the football games and spirit weeks and pep rallies. However, I also think of all the tough times we've had together. When we hated remote learning, when we cried because we fell out with each other, or when we had to adjust to a life with COVID. I want everyone here to know how strong we are. We have overcome so many barriers and obstacles. We did not give up and persevered through adversity. We have pushed ourselves and become better people for it. Y también hemos aprendido como amar y perdonar. I want to take a moment to speak to and acknowledge my fellow students of color. Y'all, we did that. It is not easy to navigate a world that sees skin color as a deciding factor in your worth. During our high school experience, we've had to work twice as hard as others for the same achievements, have had to put up with daily microaggressions, and dealt with the institutionalized racism that plagues our country. Hemos tenido que hacer tanto sin ayuda. We are living proof that resilience, character, and hard work pays off in the end. Woo, this felt. Lastly, I want to leave a piece of advice that I learned this year being co-president and co-founder of the Unidos Club. To everyone, find something that you are passionate about and live for it. Fight for it, make a career out of it, create friendships from it, and don't let anyone stop you from achieving the goals that come with it. This country needs us because we know the value of advocating for ourselves and our people. We are living in a time where politicians value guns over our lives. There is so much change to be done. And that change, it's us, todos. Advocating for Hispanic people y haciendo los Estados Unidos un mejor país para mis padres que han hecho todo por mí, mi gente, mis amigos y mis hermanos is one of the many things that I will live for. I will live to fight the oppressor and give the oppressed a voice. Yes. As I leave these halls, I will always look back at my high school years for motivation when I feel that my goals are too unreachable and I hope you know that they always are. My dearest classmates and educators, I will love you always and will miss you. Congratulations and thank you, class of 2022.